Residents of New York City are racing to get supplies as Hurricane Sandy charges towards them, bringing with it heavy rainfall, flooding and possible power outages. We came to the supermarket to get some water and some milk and we're actually going to go to Midtown to stay there for a few days. We're leaving for two days to head to a friend's place in Tribeca and have some clothes and food with us. And I feel like it could be a false alarm, but we won't take chances this time. The city has planned a total shutdown on Monday as Sandy makes its debut later in the day, with schools and universities calling off classes, subway trains and buses suspended, flights cancelled, and even the New York Stock Exchange pulling the plug on trading until further notice. In light of these conditions, I'm going to sign an executive order mandating evacuation of Zone A areas. I'm also ordering that all of the city's public schools be closed on Monday. The National Hurricane Center stated that Sandy remained at Category 1 strength, with winds up to 800 kilometers per hour, with possible flood surges of up to 3 feet in certain areas. Now they're talking about uh, the storms may knock out all the electricity and your refrigerators won't be working and you won't have lights and things like that, so it's entirely new. The public warning is in effect from 6 a.m. Monday until 6 p.m. Tuesday, with evacuation orders in place for more than 370,000 residents. The city has designated over 70 shelters as they braced for the hurricane surge. Uh, let me stress, if you don't evacuate, you're just putting your own life in, you're not just putting your own life in danger. You are also endangering the lives of our first responders who may have to come in and rescue you. And we hope you don't uh, face those kinds of dire situations. Uh, but you could. Despite the drastic measures taken by authorities, including the shutdown of public transportation and effective mandatory evacuation of low-lying areas such as the A-Zone here in Manhattan, some residents remain skeptical as to whether the storm poses any real threat. I'm from Florida originally, so, uh, you know, I'm not really phased by this storm, and I don't think my apartment's in an evacuation zone. We live on a higher floor, so I'm not really planning on doing too much. Maybe I'll buy some food. Sandy has already claimed at least 50 lives in the Caribbean as it battered the area late last week. Residents of the eastern seashore now are staying put, hoping to ride the storm safely. I hope it doesn't last on Halloween because yes, if it's the big worry. Because if it's on Halloween, then no trick or treating. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News, New York.